Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I wanted to examine a particular type of tryhard loadout for Battlefield 4 and determine whether or not it's actually a decent loadout to play with, or if it only is perceived to be a tryhard loadout. There's no question about it though, the FAMAS Assault Rifle, which is going to be the centerpiece of this loadout, deals massive, massive damage in close quarter combat and can drop people faster than any other assault rifle in the game. The question is, how does it actually fit into other game modes other than Team Deathmatch and is it even that good even though it can drop people so fast. Now it's been several patches since I've actually used the FAMAS so I popped up the Simthic stats here and took a look at the stats. We've got that thousand round per minute rate of fire making it the highest damaging assault rifle in the game. It does the 24.5 damage maximum which is standard to most assault rifles. It has that gimped magazine of 25 rounds plus the one in the chamber for a total of 26 and has a pretty damn long reload time. Short reload being 2.8 seconds. And then of course the recoil is off the charts. First shot recoil well, is two and a half times stronger than the follow-up shot recoil. So that means the gun's gonna kick like a mule when you first fire the weapon. And the vertical plus side-to-side -side recoil is both very high, which means this gun's gonna be incredibly hard to aim at distances. So right away I know that it's pretty much gonna be relegated to close to potentially close medium range combat. The one attachment that I knew I had to throw on here though was the angled foregrip to try and reduce some of that first shot recoil. Even though there's a lot of negatives now, associated with many attachments in the game. The pros of the angled foregrip outweigh the cons in this situation. And of course on weapons that are so difficult to tame like the FAMAS, sometimes it pays to try and use some of the other attachments like the compensator or muzzle brake, even though they've been nerfed so hard. However, I took it into the shooting range and decided that the uh, compensator and muzzle brake both made this weapon less effective, which is really unfortunate. And if you watch my recent attachments video, you'll know that I'm not particularly happy with the attachment system. And I think there's a few easy fixes for it. All right, so we've established that the FAMAS is not particularly accurate. The recoil's pretty high, even with an angled foregrip, so it's just not gonna be a very good weapon for long range encounters. It's also got a pretty gimped magazine, 25 rounds in the mag, so it's less than your standard assault rifle, but that rate of fire, thousand rounds per minute is going to put you ahead of the game in pretty much any CQB situation, which is good because it means you can win a lot of firefights before you even take any damage, which allows you to stay alive longer. The problem is that you pretty much have to reload after every single kill, so you're faced with sort of a paradox of a weapon. Yeah, it can keep you alive longer because you kill people so quickly you don't take damage, but then you have to reload the weapon, in which case if you're dealing with multiple threats in close quarters, you're going to have to rely on sidearms or just hope you can run away for long enough to get that reload off. And most of the time you can, it's just the times you can't that this weapon becomes frustrating. And it happens enough to make me question whether or not this gun actually is a good CQB weapon. You compare it side by side with a nice machine gun with a decently high rate of fire that you don't have to reload all the time, and that feels like a much more effective weapon. It's not to say that it is, because you might be losing out on firefights where the FAMAS would win because of its superior rate of fire, but then you lose another firefight because you can't reload fast enough with the FAMAS. So you've got major pros and cons with the weapon. Sacrificing your reload time, accuracy, and magazine capacity for an incredibly fast time to kill on one and maybe two targets if you're lucky. Now I often see this weapon being run with a laser sight, which is certainly a good attachment for the gun. It definitely helps with the hip fire accuracy. CQB, if you don't have to aim down sight and you have a thousand round per minute rate of fire, you can win just about any single firefight unless somebody totally gets the drop on you. If you add a suppressor to the laser sight setup as well, you can have a nasty little CQB weapon that the enemy team won't detect until it's too late. And that actually could be a really valuable attachment for the skin, considering the lengthy reload that you have to do all the time. It might just buy you that valuable extra half a second that you need to finish the reload. And generally speaking, I avoid suppressors because I really do like the extra muzzle velocity. However, since the FAMAS in general isn't very accurate, at anything beyond close medium range, the suppressor does make a lot more sense because that slower muzzle velocity affects you most when you're shooting at targets really far away. I just don't like the sluggish feeling overall once you're shooting a gun that shoots at around 300 meter per second muzzle velocity. It just feels like you have to aim in front of everything no matter how close they are. Now after playing with it for quite a while, I had to come to the conclusion that the gun is really only going to be most effective in TDM. You could try it out on some other game modes, but 
just because the range is so limited with this weapon in general, you're really going to want something else if you're expecting more medium range engagements like Rush or Conquest Large, any of those game modes, I would not recommend the FAMAS. It is, however, incredibly deadly in team deathmatch, especially if you have some teammates that can back you up enough to get your reload off. If you have a team that's not doing particularly well and the enemy is just charging you and rushing you with multiple numbers, then the FAMAS is not going to hold up. It'll get you a kill and then you'll die. And you'll even see me using it in Rush here. I definitely tried to make it work, but it just was more frustrating than not. I like weapons that have versatility to them. You take any of the assault rifles that are more capable at range, like a 416, and that can be decent in CQB combat and incredibly good at medium and even somewhat effective at longer ranges, where the FAMAS is really only a close to barely medium range weapon. So in my book, I just kind of relegate this gun to TDM, which is something that I tend not to play unless I'm actually making a weapon review or something like that. If I have my choice, I'll be playing Rush or Conquest all day, so I wouldn't really be using the FAMAS in any of my ideal game modes. TDM, on the other hand, though, it is a complete beast. You can absolutely tear people up with it. However, the AEK can almost match its damage output, and it gives you a faster reload time and more manageable recoil with a larger magazine, so there aren't a whole lot of reasons to use the FAMAS over the AEK, and it's probably why you see so many people running the AEK nowadays. If I was put in a situation where I knew I only had to deal with one enemy and it was going to be a close quarter fight, then I would pick the FAMAS over the AEK any day of the week. It makes much more sense for a 1v1 situation, but in terms of weapon versatility and being more of a team player and being able to take out more targets, the AEK is just going to beat the FAMAS any day of the week. So all in all, I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the FAMAS. Obviously, you can do really well with it, and I was doing really well with it. It's just a little bit frustrating with the GIMPT magazine reload time and kind of insane recoil. Give it a try for yourself. See how you like it. It's definitely geared towards more of a TDM style spray your enemy down weapon as opposed to the marksman who uses part of their magazine to kill one enemy, part of their magazine to kill another. The FAMAS is just spray at anything that moves, kill it, run away, and reload. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.